ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the 2019 Hoop Hall Classic at Springfield College, Springfield, Massachusetts, home of basketball, starting off big. We are watching the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles going against the High School of Science and Technology, SciTech. I'm Ciro Sinetti with Tony Petaway. And we have started off big already as the Eagles started off with a dunk from Hassan Whiteside and SciTech answered with points of their own. And right there, Andy Rosario Jr. gets the mid-range J to go. Four to two already starting off big on both sides. Yes, indeed, the intensity is matched by the physicality. Both teams equally matched. I uh, know two, two big men on either, with the exception of your 6'9", uh, Youngster for Central, but a good game is on slate for both teams. Right now, Jonathan Martinez will be bringing the ball down for the Eagles. The junior puts him on skates. This is to the corner. Andy Rosario's three no good, but Hassan Warren with the rebound. Finds Therese Morse and foul drawn. Yes, the height advantage goes to Hassan on the central side of the ledger. But but um, excuse me, Side Tech comes out with the intensity with the man-to-man -man defense. Therese Morris at the foul line. Free throw attempt one is no good. Two now for the Eagles. It's Spears, guarded by Martinez. Spears drives and beautiful block. Hassan Ward says, no, 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 not in my house. With the big Matumbo finger swoop. No, 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 no. 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 Not and today. we understood that one, right? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Inside joke. Now for the Cybercats, it's Martin's three, no good. Morse with the heavy rebound, and now it's Martinez. I tell you, the pace is quick in here for both teams as we're going the other way. And it's Martin. Martin at the top of the key. Sets back, gives it to Spears. There's a lot of pride on the line with this one here in front of television crowd and a lot of well-wishers and fans and family. Well, here at the Springfield College Hoop Hall Classic, three attempts completely off the marks. This is one of the most designed tournaments in the country, decorated and great, greatly appreciated. It's such an honor to be here as the Eagles are here every year in a travel call on the Cybercats as Eagles will take over. Five to two now. It appears everyone's going at double time at this particular point. Nerves are still at all time high as the game moves forward and we progress a little bit. I'm sure the tempo will decrease. There was an offensive foul for the Eagles. Turnover now, and it is the Cybercats ball. It's Spears. Guarded by Martinez. Since we're in a man to man defensive set. Martin to Spears. Spears on the wing, guarded by Martinez. To Knorr. Knorr's three attempt, heavily contested and no good, but a aggressive rebound from yeah. Spears. But Martin gets it to go on the putback. Four to five now, Cybercats down by one. I tell you, the cleanup was great by Ward on that one. Foul. 
tell you, it's gotten really loud in here all of a sudden. Absolutely. I'm definitely used to it, used to it for the headliner. It's always very loud in here for the big matches. Usually Putnam versus Central, but now even louder for Cytec versus Putnam. Keith Keys inbounding it. Finds Rosario at the three-point line. Put it up for three. The Eagles up by four. We have a good one here on tab zero as both teams are definitely digging into their offensive closet of tricks early with the three point shots falling. Not like the last game where we had some with some cold fronts that appeared where they couldn't seem to make anything at all. Absolutely. Well, once again, Martin taking that deep three. I don't think he realizes that that white line isn't the needed three pointer. That black three point line works. You could take it. Martinez with the spin move, bust it off. Foul was called. And the Cybercats will take over. Just a little history on the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles. They're coached by Daryl Denson in his fourth season. His last three uh, games that will, uh, will be here uh, against Amherst. The score was not reported, so we'll move right along. But 48 to 50. They took a loss, a uh, game buzzer beater loss to Sabbath, but a 75 to 39 win versus Commerce. Well, the Cybercats able to cut the lead to two now, and Martinez looking to lead the Eagles to an, an easy offensive tempo. Martinez guarded by Spears heavily. Turnover. Cybercats ball. We're talking a little scoring for your Eagles. Field goals made Hassan Ward with 52 at this point. Jonathan Martinez 26 and Andy Rosario Jr. with 19. And we'll be back with more stats as we progress throughout the game. Thank you Tony for the stats on the Eagles and now back to the action. Problems on the court. Foul on Keith Keys for the Eagles. Cybercats will inbound it. It's Rosado inbounding it. And they find Mark Martin. Ari has taken several deep threes that looked bad. Looking to improve that. There they call out of bounds as it was deflected off and the Eagles will take over. It's Martinez. Martinez got it by Spears, uses the pick. Looks for Ward, but they were reading it. Morse not giving up off the glass. No good. Morse again not giving up. Goes for the rebound, but Martin secures it. Now with Spears. Chris Spears guarded by Martinez. 2.29 left to go in the first quarter. Intense 8-6 to six action. Eagles up by a field goal. A contested three. Foul drawn with the attempt was number two, Willie Bosworth. He will be shooting three at the free throw line and going to the Cybercats. They are nine and one on the season. Coach Kamari Williams on his fifth season, leading them to greatness this year. 77-54 win over Westfield, a 65-49 win versus Chicopee Comp, and an 87-67 W over Savage Bulldogs. In the past three games, some great stats for them. And overall, their, their leaders, Willie Bosworth with 68 made field goals, Chris Spears at 56 made field goals, and Xavier Martin at 55 made field goals. Currently ranked number three on Mass Live's power rankings are the SciTech Cybercats. They lost their second game of the season to Putnam by six, and since then, it sparked that undefeated streak for them since. All nine wins are by 13 points or more and no close games at the end. Maybe it will change tonight as the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles look to win tonight. 
defending the court here are both teams representing Springfield at the 2019 Hoop Paul Classic. Yes, we have some really good basketball on tap, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we proceed. Just a little more exhibits on the Golden Eagles. Three points made, Andy Rosario Jr. with 13, while William Davis has three, and Jadrian Feliciano has three as well. They're currently ranked number one in Massachusetts by their power rankings. Well, right there, excellent play, but now, on the other side, Martin not able to finish, and out of bounds, and the Cybercats will retain possession. Knowing that play was a great stop for Martin, and now Cytech will have another chance at scoring as they are down two points. Rosario guarding the inbound. Just a little bit of history. Historically, Central has played Putnam in the Hoop Ball Classic in years 2015, 16, 2017, and 2018. So this is a big rivalry here. Well, yes, this is their, this is the first time that Central has faced Cytech at Hoop Ball, so that's big for them. And obviously, it, it, a rivalry that is good to see for the first time at Hoop Ball for them. And now timeout called, slow it down. And that's that's always been my big my big adjustment that I always say. Slow it down, you know, take those breaths that you need, make the right adjustments, have the attitude, that winning attitude, have the ability to have defensive strengths as well as the equalizer of offensive strengths. Sometimes they focus on working on that defense too much while setting aside their offensive pace. As we saw at one point, it was inconsistent. For the Beavers last game, they were so great on the defensive end, but they couldn't break that one point lead so many times on the offensive end. And sometimes it was the other way around, scoring big time, but couldn't get the defensive stop. This is not what the Cybercats want to say. They want to be able to equally score and equally stop. As the Eagles at 10 and the Cybercats at eight, 135 left to go in the first quarter. Tony, anything else? I've been impressed throughout the evening as we've been treated to some really good basketball. Um, we, we look at both teams, they're equally matched. Um, I'm curious to see more of what's to come. But as you have mentioned, Ciro, in your very eloquent statements around how this game is played at this level, you have to match the intensity on defense. You have to be proficient and smart on offense, and you have to make those free throws. Absolutely. You have to make those free throws because they're the deciding factor, in most cases, down the end of the game. And there is Andy Rosario Jr., the three-point specialist since forever. This guy can shoot the three, even last year, watching a couple games of his on the JV team. Incredible shooter, has the distance, and there was number four, Jason Rosado, with the three-pointer of his own, two-point lead, but back to Rosario, incredible shooter, and tonight has threes of his own. And there's a stop that the Cybercats needed. Rosario with eight tonight, but now Cybercats take over. 38 seconds to go. In rejection by Hassan Ward. Martin, incredible I hustle play. Hustle. Martina should have had it. Legal dribble on that one, Ciro. I, I'm impressed by the intensity that's being matched by both teams. They're really Absolutely. getting after it. They've been on the floor a number of times already. This is high school basketball at its absolute best. Well, Trent Smith now guarding Martinez finds Ward. Ward calls Martinez to move around, fakes him out. And the rebound for the Cybercats is big. And the buzzer beater was off, but the shot was no good. Ending the first quarter of the Spalding 2019 Hoop Hall Classic. 
the matchup between the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles and the High School of Science and Technology, the Cybercats. 11 for the Cybercats and 13 for the Eagles. A great start right now for both teams as we've talked about several times, the intensity, but right there for the Cybercats as the corner is not, might be done, there are some free throws that will be taking place. And now the game is tied. And that is Willie Bosworth who takes the lead for the Cybercats for, I believe, a technical. I'm not, I, was, I was not aware of the foul until he was at the line. But key foul shots, hit all three of them. And just like that, Cybercats have the lead. And that's good for them. And it well, really was a hard-earned lead that they deserved after some great defensive stops. And now on the offensive end, like we like to say, they matched it up 14 to 13 for the Cybercats, 13 for the Eagles. They got to play better. They started off great, but the Cybercats matched it. And as we talk Eagles basketball, we were just uh, treated to a, a visual of one of Central High School's outstanding players of, of many years. And Mr. Travis Best is enjoying the game at his courtside seats. Uh, in tow is his dad, Mr. Leo Best, who is also a two-time Lahore winner. Travis, of course, has bragging rights with three. And a great member of those great Central teams back in the 90s where state championships seem to come with ease. With the likes of Desi Jackson and so many others who played with that team, Ant Boyd, Fred Smith, who are now members of the Hall of Fame, uh, the Padilla brothers, both Goodell and Edgar, who've gone on to UMass and to play for their natural uh, country in Puerto Rico. But we're going to go back to the action as Central is down by one at this particular point as we begin the second quarter of action. The three-point attempt, no good from Bosworth in ball in hands of Martinez now for the Eagles, looking to gain the lead. Again, and it's Rosario to Martinez. Martinez to Ward. And it's C.J. Davis to Therese Morse in the corner for three. No good. The Ward rebound attempt, no good, but he goes down, and that is a travel. He's lost balance in the feet. Jalen Rosado, Jaden Rosado not able to completely have control. And when you go down while having ball in hands, that is traveled. So turnover that was not needed and not necessary for the Cybercats. Now it's Davis inbounding it to Martinez to Rosario. Rosario for three, no good. Rebound strongly by Cybercats who have been really big on the board to this first uh, half of action, this second quarter, as I'm really impressed by a lot of the fundamentals are being employed here. They're boxing out great. They're contesting each shot. They're running the lanes and they're getting around and they're setting the offense up. On the defensive side, Central seems to have a little more of a physicality, a little more swag, if you will, yes. when it comes to getting at it, head to head or nose to nose, if you will. We'll see how this one plays out as we get closer to the halftime. One thing with Central is it seems like every year they're able to get that three-point shooter. Last year was Josiah Green, this year Andy Rosario. And the shot clock down, and these Cybercats were able to get it off just in time. Number four, Jaden Rosado. And it's Martinez. It's Martinez He's setting again. their offense uh, as they're being chased man-to-man uh, -man for the Cybercats who they're putting it all on the ground, as we said earlier. They're putting it on the floor, and its intensity is matched. No one's backing down. That's what you get with the rivalry of such. Absolutely. Well, definitely heart in this game for both teams, representing their city. And if you can't hear it, I don't know what is wrong with you, because my ears are ringing. The building is electric. 16 to 13, 625 left to go in the first half, and the Eagles would start it off great. The Cybercats are taking advantage. And it's Rosario that will be inbounding it for the Eagles. I tell you, as you said, Zero, it is hot in here, man. So it may be in the single digits outside and the low single digits, the teens maybe, 
We're but sweating it is in here. It's on fire right here, baby. Fourth to CJ Davis. And it's Martinez. Martinez uses the pick from Ward. Oh. Travel call. I, I, I guess it's okay to take that shot when he was looking for the foul, but the foul was not there. Right. An unnecessary shot. On using that pick and roll, you should have passed the sign as he was open on that, obviously avoiding the traffic, but now Cybercats have ball. Well, he took one giant step for mankind and two tiny ones, which is a violation in this game. Absolutely. At least at this level. Xavier Martin, incredible three-pointer. He's taking a lot of hectic deep threes, but this time he gets it to go. Makes it look like magic. And there's a foul on the court. For those of you just joining us at home, your score is 19 to 13. You're listening to Tony Petaway, and I'm joined by my good friend Ciro Zanetti here as we have these bird's eye view seats with an amazing monitor in front of us. We'd like to thank the camera crews who are putting us and keeping us in focus, no pun intended, and a director who's definitely behind the board and making the switching moves nice and easy for us as we are wireless. I love it. What a convenience to be without being strapped or held down by wires, Ciro. The big man, Hassan Ward, goes for the three, thought it was in and didn't go for the rebound, but on the other end, wasn't here to swat it either as the Cybercats get a leading three, and that is an incredible blocking foul, or incredible charge that he was able to do. This is well, going to be... What I thought was a flop. He was able to use that against us and is a charging foul on Andy Rosario. Surprised they called that a charge and not a blocking foul, but give him props. I think this place is going to absolutely erupt with the dunk shot. Absolutely. I mean, I can't wait if, if we can get a big dunk. The deep three again, and it is good. He is on fire. Xavier Martin for three again. Fuego, fuego. Beautiful bounce, beautiful behind the back pass. Looking like white chalk with Jason Williams over here, but Therese Morris couldn't hold it in. As central inbound on this one, we have a little over four minutes and some change left in this second quarter of action. This first half here at the Hoop Hall Classic here at Springfield College. And Rosario loses full possession of it as this is a big lead for the Cybercats. Martin again for three. This time, no good. Ward rebound, and it's Davis. Look for Central to settle down, collect their thoughts, run their offense. They have the size advantage. I would think they would move the ball inside to the bigger man on the wing. Davis is shot no good. Rebound for the Cybercats. Four minutes left to go in the first half, and a big lead for Side Tech. And one thing in the sport of basketball, anger does not usually help. Now what these guys got to do, they got to calm down. Playing with anger is never good. I don't care what the instance is, any sport playing with anger because it makes you put more pressure on yourself and you play more lousy at least. It's what I see. So these guys got to relax, realize that they have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yes, and what I've seen thus far in terms of getting on the floor for those loose balls, the advantage goes to Cy Tech in this one. As you saw in that last possession, three big men swiped at it, swiped at it, swiped at it, where it took a smaller gentleman to give up himself and get on that floor. Well, Martin's attempt no good. And now in for Central tonight, Trickton. Davis. 
to Moore. And Ojulo Mott, attempt no good, and it's tonight Crichton, whose point is good for the Eagles. Yes, more of that's gonna have to happen for Central if they're gonna dig their way back out of this deficit of seven points at this point. To convert the and one is Crichton, and no good. Not able to convert it. 24-15 remains the score after the free throw attempt. There's handoff, three attempts, no good. Those deep threes might end up coming to bite them in the future because they don't need to take it from that deep. And it's That's Martinez. a nine-point differential, folks, at home. Absolutely, a big, a big differential, especially seeing how, at one point, Central was up big. Back to the action, Central playing a man-to-man -man defense. We'll see what bears here. Xavier Martin able to save, throwing it off the shin of Tanaya Crichton. Going out of bounds, and it is now Cybercat's ball. It's Spears, guarded by Morris to Martin. Martin handing off to Spears. Both teams Ten on the man shot clock. Man. Spears drive, rejection, denied. It's hard to do that amongst the big trees where the size advantage goes to the Central and Golden Eagles. The size is there for the Eagles and Julio Max attempt foul drawn. Julio Max will be at the line. Throw one. That's good. Pretty fluid shot for a big man. A 6'5 sophomore has plenty of time to throw and get that shot in, and it's it's amazing to see Julu be able to just be at the level that he is, just how young of his high school career is, and it's amazing to see him, and he will be developing into such a great an even better basketball player than he is now and it's it's awesome to see the likes of how some of these players in general in this high school performance level and right there for the Cybercats able to get it go and now it's Martinez just a little under two minutes left in this first half of action that shots up You gotta earn your keep down there and get your weight up in that up paint there. It seems that at this level, there's a, a never developing allergy to being in the paint. Is there some type of carcinogen or an allergen in the paint these yeah. days? Yeah, well I know, they, they just wanna take the threes. That was a deep three, but at least Crichton was able to get the rebound, bring himself to the free throw line. Attempt number one, no good on the free throw. Maybe some more luck on free throw attempt number two. And I got to give kudos to the to coaching go. staff of Central. They are very fundamentally sound as the free throw shooting percentages are far greater in this game thus far than we were at the half point of the last game. I would like to thank the assistant coaches on the Central High School side of the house for Adam Zywak. William Davis, Rick Marshall, Rick Johnson, Rick Johnson, and, and Jordan Almore. A number three for the Cybercats, and just incredible play for them. And Williams able to hold on to it. Morse to Crichton, Crichton in the paint, no good. Ojulo Ma put back nice good. Touch. I love his touch around the basket on the big man. Very square to the basket. Lead. Looks off the defender. Great uh, head fakes. Double pumps. Uses his body well. He's definitely got to get in that gym and eat a couple more sandwiches at lunch. <laughs> and uh, hey, I, 
The sky's the limit for him. Well, just under a minute to go in the first half, we've seen a pickup in performance rate for the Central High School Golden Eagles as the Cybercats have been playing outstanding all around. And like I said, offensively great and defensively even better. You gotta love seeing it. And now the Eagles, though, looking to obviously get a lead again, but it's the Cybercats with it. 20 on the clock. This is it out deep for the three, no good. Another really deep three that just off the marks and it's Jonathan Martinez finds Williams. William Davis to his Nice cross court pass. And way to uh, anticipate the, the contact coming and have the wherewithal to still put the basket up put the attempt up and he's rewarded with a chance to go to the charity stripe and uh, make a dent in this uh, deficit. We'd also like to make mention to the support staff of coach Kamari Williams, uh, Tolan Gladden, Nicholas Gaetano, Maurice Jones, Tracy Bradford, and Nate Pace assist uh, him with the, uh, the coaching deep duties. Excuse me. Well, Crichton once again not able to get the first attempt down. Second one is well off the marks and now Cybercats have it. It's Spears. Finds Martin. Osborne now. I think he's just gonna train the clock with the final seconds of the first half. Looking to get a shot. Deep three. No good. Rosario could get a shot off before. Never mind. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first half of the 2019 Spalding Hoopball Classic. Tonight's debut matchups for the opening gate, the opening day for the Hoopball Classic here at Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm Cyrus Nettie live with Tony Petaway. And you're watching Focus Springfield. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the 2019 Hoopball Classic at Springfield College. I am Cyrus Nettie with the new athletic director, Dwayne Early. Mr. Early, thank you for being here with me. I'm just going to ask you a question about the Hoopball Classic and what does it mean to you to be here and see the local schools perform here? What does it mean to you? Well, I, I think it's good for the city as a whole uh, to have the, the, the Springfield Hall of Fame uh, give us the opportunity to showcase our talents on such a big stage at a premier event um, is just huge to uh, get our student athletes, uh, the, uh, to, to get them looked at in, in, in the notoriety and to have the community come out and share this event is, is just huge for the student athletes. I, I think that's really huge. It's something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Thank you, Mr. Early. Couldn't have said it better myself. I am Cyril Zanetti, and this is Focus Springfield. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live at the 2019 Hoop Hall Classic at Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts. I am Cyril Zanetti live with Tony Petaway. And you are watching Focus Springfield. Tonight's second match in the headliner is Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles going against the SciTech Cybercats. As of now, the Cybercats are up 29 to Central's 21. Looking to take back the lead that, had, that they had in the start are the Eagles. Jonathan Martinez now, guarded by Spears, finds Ward in the paint to Rosario. Rosario's three, no good. Rebound by Spears. He finds Martin. Martin looking for Mike Miller, but goes out of bounds. And it's off of the Eagles, and it is Cybercats ball. Xavier Martin with all 13 of his points in the first half leads all scores. Uh, really good looking guard there, great size, great handle. I love how he uh, puts his uh, teammates on his hip and has carried the team thus far. Playing great as he started off a little slow, but now getting into it, he's playing incredible. Loving to see the action that he's doing and great three point shooter in Xavier Martin. 
now. Miller had it out of bounds. Keith Keys with the hustle play. Cybercats ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. They have to look to get a shot up. Yeah, there's Xavier Martin's shot no good, side ward rebound. Yes, I saw the interview um, of you and the new athletic director, uh, Mr. Dwayne Early, who's taken over the reins from one of my friends and a, a near and dear uh, athletic director to all of us here in the Springfield Public School System, and Mr. Mike Martin. Thank you for your years of service. Um, and now Dwayne, a product of the Springfield Public School Department uh, as a student. Uh, went on off to UMass to get his degree and came back home to teach as an administrator in the building and now has his dream job of the athletic directorship. So we're willing and eager to work with him. And there is the jam we've been waiting for. Hassan Ward finishes the job. Deed done. 23-29 now the updated score in the big jam jam from Hassan Ward. What a rim rocker on that one. I think the rim is still shaking on that end of the court there, Zero. They may have to call maintenance or facility to, to tighten the screws on the, the fortress of that. It's a parquet floor, so thank God they don't have to worry about that. But if it was, they'd probably have to fix the pieces. Three off the mark. Eagles have possession as it stays. As we look around the crowd, there are just so many folks who have contributed to this game, and, and I'm really excited to look down and see that the schools are supported and their principals are here. I see in Tad Tokars at his courtside see Mr. Lime, Limeland. La Lime, excuse me. A tongue twister for me in his first debut game. I'm super excited about tomorrow and getting to see some of the women's action. The young women will take the court and bring us their brand of basketball. Very fundamentally sound. It's below the rim. However, the young ladies put, you know, their brand on the basketball as well. Well, off of Willie Bossworth's field goal there, but as we're talking about, Tony, tomorrow will be the Central High School Golden Eagles going against Austin High School out of New York, the Austin Riverhawks, and that will be a good game for the Lady Eagles. And now, back to the action. It's Bosworth. The three from Keith Keys, not what he wanted. Boy, this tournament has grown over the years. I remember back in its early inception with Dave Elkins, who was an intern some years ago and has moved on to the next level with the NBA. And I last I spoke with him, he was doing some work with the San Antonio Spurs of the NBA and the Will Dawkins and others who have worked with the Basketball Hall of Fame, you know, have made you know, very good careers out of, of this sport. Well, Mike Miller's attempt right there, no good. Now the Eagles. It's Rosario. Rosario now. I love how he drives the lane, uses his body. He's able to use both, both of his hands. That's going to be key going to the next level. You have to be able to shield off that defender and finish strongly to the rack. And then, of course, your favorite. No he, gets, free throws. he gets two free throws, ladies and gentlemen. Well, like you said, using that body to get to not only just draw the foul, but put up a, a decent shot, that's that's a huge key in the paint. But of course, it's not used highly nowadays that people don't really use the strength of their elbows to drive in and try to draw, draw the foul, but right there executes it and gets the second one to go. 32-23 updated score after the free throw is good. It's Jonathan Martinez now. I think I found out what it is. 
It's the singing of the Nets when they hoist one from way out beyond the arc. It's that centripetal snap. The swish. That swish. Yeah. That is so addictive. That the tingling of the nylon. That they go for that. Yeah, they, they want that sensation. You know, you can't put a pop tart in the microwave. You know, it has to go in the toaster. You're right. Some things You're right. are just there you, you go. have to work hard for them, and that's just the way it is. I love that. Force turnover from the Cider Cats. The three was off the mark for Rosado. And it's Davis. When we were coming up, if you shot an air ball, that was an automatic 10 push-ups at the conclusion of the game. <laughs> so that meant you had to get your strength up. If you were going to take the shot, you better at least hit the rim. Yeah. No air balls allowed. But on a more serious note, we have a really good one here for you, ladies and gentlemen, at home. Please tune in each evening where you will see some amazing basketball. This Martin Luther King Jr. holiday season. I'm super excited to be here with Ciro. Ciro, it's been a joy for me to just be able to come out upon invitation to, to share with you a game that I love and had a lot to do with for a while. I had really had turned the page on basketball for a little bit and started working on some other endeavors, but like anything that you love, it keeps calling. Absolutely, Tony. You couldn't have said it any better. And just to think that already so intense great games and this is only the start my friend can't wait to even get to tomorrow and although we won't be announcing saturday sunday or monday but you bet that i will be here and i, I i'm here every i'm here every game till sunrise from sunrise sundown and i that's just how it is i love basketball and i can't miss some of the best high school players in the country around and now Hassan Ward's first attempt good. Taking a step in the right direction and attempt number two is good. Now the Eagles looking to still make that legit bounce back. Yeah, and I think they have a run in them uh, as they poise themselves and they're picking up the intensity on the defensive side as they're really getting after the ball. And they're hoping like in this instance where the long rebound will go to their advantage with their size advantage. It's a great strategy being employed by Coach Stinson at this point. Let's see what uh, Coach Williams does to counter. 3.21 to go in the third quarter. 32-25, Cybercats up with the Eagles trailing. And it's Spears. This is it to Mark. Uses the Bosworth, Bosworth screen. Martin hot step denied. Stay Davis with a great defense on that. Martin inbounding. Martin pleading his case on that one felt he was fouled in the act of shooting, but not the case with the official. Looks like all ball. Seems clean. Hassan Ward, the big man, able to make sure that that ball didn't get past him. And it's Ojulu Ahmad on the other end. Well, Turn offensive off foul called on that one. Cats are extending their lead comfortably and, and picking up the intensity on the offensive side of the house. 
Right to be matched. Hassan Central's Ward. not backing down. Hassan Ward able to grab the rebound and put it up for two. And the crowd shaking after that play. Couldn't complete the highlight reel, so in my books, it doesn't matter. Got to feed that post. Hassan Ward using his big man strength. The ability has improved over the offseason. You can't, you can't forget it that Hassan Ward has not only got the physicality, but the strength now of the 6'9 giant that he is this year, looking to be even more dominant than he ever has in his senior year of high school, an excellent player. And now the Eagles are trailing by five. I this love the inlet the pass. He got it up high away from the defender. He was able to position himself. And Xavier Martin gets it off the miles in for two. Spreading the lead even more. You know, well, wisely take a timeout by the Eagles. Well, ladies and gentlemen. We are live at the 2019 Spalding Hoop Hall Classic at Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts. This is the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles going against the SciTech Cybercats, 36 to the Eagles, 29. I'm Cyril Zanetti, live with. I tell you, this has been an amazing night of just a lot of friendly faces as we peruse. Look around the crowd and see a former players who are now coaching their kids. I see just CD Presley, a standout at Putnam some years ago, and now he's coaching his son who's gone on to college, uh, Josh Presley Jr. I look uh, as Key, his father, standout in football at AIC, is proudly here, posted up with his handheld camera. And there's so much of that where you see friends are, uh, are talking snap. Uh, we are family uh, community TV, so we'll say talking a little junk, if you will. But it's all in good, kind, spirited uh, competition. And uh, you see the young ladies out representing the cheer and uh, getting their athletic uh, movements and doing their splits and whatever else comes along with that. But it's great. What a festive, festive crowd. A lot of noise, a lot of action. And this is what we want here. Absolutely. On a night I mean, like this. this is this is the Hoopal first day headline game that I want to see. Central High School down 29 to 36 as the Cybercats are really playing some excellent ball here. And now Martinez. Martinez finds Keith Keys, Keys to Davis. Great defense and really some incredible hustle play right there. As remains Eagles ball. We're under a minute left in this third quarter of action. We are Focus Springfield. Keith finds a bot in the paint. Hassan Ward put back dunk. He does it just that easy. The 6-9 beats 36-31 now. The score you can look forward to as it's Spears versus Martinez, a decent matchup. That's how they're going to eke back into this one. One basket at a time. High percentage shots. Back them in. A good look. Draw the defense. Make them foul you. Cash in. Well, for the for the cyber tech for the cyber cats at point, it was at a point nine differential from the shot clock in the game clock violation era. So now Eagles take over with 4.9 to go. And it's Davis. Davis is looking to get a shot. The deep three, no good. And Ward trying to get the putback. 
would have got it off in time, but didn't have possession. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends the third quarter, 36 to 31. And we've seen a relentless comeback from the Eagles looking to take the lead finally. This is exactly what they need to solidify a great game. We are here at the 2019 Spalding Hoopball Classic in Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts, the birthplace of basketball. I'm Cyril Zanetti with Tony Petaway. You are watching Focus Springfield. Tony, tell us what the Eagles have to do to get the win. They have to make some stops first. They've got to step up the intensity on the defensive side of the house, get a few stops, and cash in on some high percentage baskets underneath the basket. Use their size advantage. They're 6'9". Their front court 6'5", 6'4", even. The guard play is equally matched. I would give the advantage to the athleticism inside. Dump it in. They don't have anything. Look for something on the perimeter. The guards have really been stroking the ball really well. But as you said, it's going to come down to those stops and those opportunities that are going to come with those made free throws and definitely use the clock to your advantage. The coaches have got them prepared. They have to come out and they have to execute. So going into the last minutes of the game, eight minutes on that clock, 36-31, five-point deficit, five-point lead, I should say, for the Cybercats as the Eagles need to win this. I mean, the good thing about this is both teams are representing Springfield, so it's just a battle of the cities. Huge game, as this is the first time we see SciTech and Central. And there's Chris Beers on the other end. And Jonathan Martinez, as you look, he kept his defense. So off the steal, Chris Pierce able to finish. And if you're side tech, that's what you keep doing. You keep charging. You keep the intensity Martinez up. With each turnover, turnover, you got to make them pay with each turnover. High percentage basket. Go to the rack. You have to go to that rack and make that high percentage you gotta shot. Make some substitutions or some changes. The turnovers are hurting them. Nine points right now. That is the lead for the side tech Cybercats. Eagles not looking strong. They, like I said, either change something with that rotation because it's not working. A lot of credit given to the uh, side tech guards. When they get that ball, they're going a direct line to that hoop. And there's no fear of going into that paint at all. And they're taking that high percentage shot. Hey, if it doesn't fall, at least I'm in a position to get that foul, make that vintage two-pointer, or make that vintage three-pointer. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, well, tonight you saw a start of Andy Rosario able to hit some great three-point shots. But if you look on the, the box score right now, in Rosario and Porter are the only ones on Central with some points. And that's tough for them. That's real tough. They gotta fix that. As everybody on the, the Cyber the Cybercats are on the scoreboard and playing well for them. Now just a, back to the action. Just a little over seven minutes and twenty-three ticks on your clock. We'd like to thank you for joining us on this evening. We are Focus Springfield. Andy Rosario's three no good, but Hassan Ward's fade away. Dirk Nowitzki's on the court. <laughs> Incredible fade away. Love to see it. Seven points now for the de 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 deficit. Three no good. They have the rebound. It's Martinez. Martinez goes through and he's rejected. There's a lot of contact on that one, but that's exactly what he has to do. Go to the heart of that defense. Hopefully on the next one, the referee will reward him for taking a, a chance and throwing a foul. Son Ward to Martinez. Martinez the board. Oh, travel, blatant travel, good call by the refs to solidify that, and now they've just got to, they've got to work with that, okay? Now, one thing 
that might work for them is maybe getting into that full court press. You can definitely adapt that, be aggressive on the defensive end, and especially make sure that they just don't get these fast momentum, fast break opportunities. Make sure that they're that they're stopped. Both teams should adapt that full court press each time. Mike Miller now. They got it tonight at slide those feet and square up. Move those feet. They're, they're getting around on that edge. Beautiful, beautiful jumper right there from Bosman. This gets them. Three to go. Ten point lead. Less than six to go. Steal to Spears. Rejection. Got that out of here, he says. But the SciTech Cybercats keep it. Ward says. Get that out of here. Wow. Check the ball for his palm print. The evidence is there. I think that he touched the ball. Well, now inbounding is Bosworth. And that was a deep, deep three attempt. They were definitely at the Springfield College diamond on that yeah. one. Yeah. I'd say so, yeah. Shot no I like good. that Central is contesting rebound. each shot. Martinez. Showing a little agility and use of the use of his left hand with the uh, Euro step there. Ward has been solid at my favorite free throw. This time missing, I guess I may have jinxed it. 43-33 now, looking to lower it into single digits. Booing. Redemption. Gets that to go now. Nine point lead for the Cybercats. Well, definitely buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for a bumpy ride here as we have a little more than five minutes and some change left in this game, our fourth quarter of action. Your score, 43-34. I'm Tony Petaway. I'm joined by my companion, D'Artagnan. <laughs> Mr. Ciro Zanetti, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an absolute blast. Wow. Incredible. Once Central has an answer, SciTech is right there to seal it. And there is the steal. Bosworth is not giving up. Finds CJ Davis. Pump fake off the glass. In for two. Beautiful find right there. And now they're for a second adapting that full court press. There's Here it comes. Rod Martinez. Bowser has been shooting the ball unconsciously. Carlos Rodriguez gets it to go. Selfish play on one end, and then of course, you know, it's not to looking go. at the entire court on the other. The Eagles are falling apart, you could say. This is not a good look for them. And a foul called.
guarded by Keith Keys. Looked like good defense. This is it out yes. now to Rodriguez. Rodriguez guarded by Davis. Beautiful drive, gets the finish. And the lead is incredible for the Cybercats as they are dominating. They're winning the one-on-one -on -one man to man battle. are starting to make their uh, early exits as this one looks like it's in the books here with a substantial lead at this part lead. with good uh, basketball nonetheless. We'll see if uh, Central has something left in the tank to try to lessen the deficit here. And there's the turnover now, Martinez. Off pass. Martinez floater, no good. Not there. The Cyber Cats ball as they have a big lead on the Eagles. Two minutes, twenty seconds left in this contest, ladies and gentlemen. Your score fifty thirty six. Turnover, zero. Well, big turnover there as they couldn't pass it in in time. And now Eagles have a chance to, well, with two minutes, 20 seconds left, 14 point deficit. It's tough to come back from that, but it can happen. It can. Yeah. But now they have the ball right here and they've got a score, Rosario. Looks for Tanai Kring. Rebound by Mike Miller. Gives it to Spears. Sytek winning the rebound battle. Yes, they, they have that, that rebound advantage tonight easily. Bosworth appears to be a crowd favorite here. He's a magician with the basketball. crew for their support uh, those behind us making us look good and sound good our audio the mixer our director Steve Perry for the vision and we'd like to thank the mayor of the city of Springfield for his support of making sure that focus Springfield is in each and every home with the contracts uh, with the cable it's been a, a great time to have Hang out with you, uh, Ciro, and enjoy Absolutely. some really good basketball. Here at the 2019 Spalding Hoop Ball Classic, this is only the beginning, my friend, and I am I'm stoked for what is in store. And here is Martinez. It's Ward. Ward for three. No good. The big man not in the favor for that shot. Now. 
Cybercats will be slowing it down a little. Spears. Spears drives, draws foul, and one. Chris Spears with an excellent drive. is good, minute and the 19 to go, and this is going to be a blowout for now. Wow, you have to look at the scoreboard and realize the 20 point differential in this one. We were so close in the earlier parts uh, of this game. Hassan Ward, three, good. And now the full court press, I feel like it's a little too late now for that press, less than a minute to go, and it's just, but a credit him for playing to the end. It isn't over until the triple zeros are up. Or the four zeros in this case. In the, yeah, in this case. Tech kind of looking to drain the clock. Mike Miller's shot is good. And that puts the lid on. I love Mike to Miller. see the big man rewarded in this case. He got it to go in. Let's see if he can. Let's see if he can finish the vintage three-point play. Less than a minute to go in today's headlining game. Miller has been worth his weight and go, anchoring the center position. Shot no good, and Ward's rebound. Put back, dunk is good. Now, Central might not have performed as good as they wanted to, but I can confirm that Son Ward with an incredible 18 points tonight. Has definitely impressed me and many others in here as he is just an incredible player. Twenty seconds and four tenths remain. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. Hassan Ward takes the three. No good. Tonight, Crichton's putback is good. And with the clock winding down, this game is over. Ladies and gentlemen, as the crowd is erupting, I will save the outro. 2019 Spalding Hoop Hall Classic, day one here at Springfield College, Springfield, Massachusetts, birthplace of basketball. I am Sarah Snetty with Tony Pettaway. And you are watching Focus Springfield. Thank you for watching.